Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are going to be playing Legacy but not really playing Legacy. I'm just going to use this video as like a wedding prep uh, type of thing. I was going to do it off camera but I figured you guys would probably want to see it and I think it would be fun to do it together. So yeah, I know I said that the wedding was going to be in this episode but it's actually going to be in the next one. Today we're just going to be looking for a good venue on the gallery and making adjustments as we need to. Also, um, picking out everyone's weddings, wedding outfits, just, you know, just prepping. Prepping so that in the next episode, like right in the beginning, we can just like hop right into the wedding and uh, hopefully everything runs smoothly. I love you guys so much. It's been so nice to have this routine of videos and streams. It feels really nice to be oh. Oh, holy sorry about that I literally just choked on myself um yeah it just feels really nice to, to be back I have missed this so much like y'all don't even know but yeah thank you for watching and supporting and just everything I really appreciate it I do have a Celsius today I already cracked it open because lately I've been cracking it open like as soon as I wake up which is probably not good I don't know I don't know, but I've got strawberry guava, one of my favorite flavors, if not my favorite flavor. So cheers, cheers to you, cheers to this video. I'm so excited to uh, play some Sims today. I hope you're excited too. Let's get into it. Here we are in my legacy save file. I'm gonna go over here to Tartosa. This is the world that came with the uh, wedding stories pack. I have not clicked this since I've downloaded the pack. This is uh, kind of gonna be a first impressions wedding pack video as well so and next uh next video for for the wedding as well i'm very excited to see um how much weddings have changed what there's a house here why does rory live here that is so weird okay um for some reason i thought this was just gonna be like wedding venue lots i don't know i don't know what i was thinking Anyway, moving right along. It looks like there are a couple of wedding venues already. I'm actually curious to see what the one uh, that came with the pack looks like. Okay, well, yeah. Ah, it's not my favorite. It's really not my favorite. I don't even know if I'm like a huge fan of this lot either, like the area that it's in. So let's go ahead and have a look at the beach lot. Um, a lot of the comments in, on my last video, thank you guys for commenting by the way, I asked you like what style wedding you think Lamar and Zoe would have, like what would suit them the best? And a lot of you guys said boho, um, like natural feel, uh, like a mixture of bo boho and classic, I don't know, we're gonna have to figure it out, but Let's have a look at the uh, the lot that's on the beach in this world, cause maybe we could do a boho wedding on the beach. I don't know. You know, like when you get like a good feeling about a lot in this game, like how I feel about the Strangerville lots. Like, mm, I just love those lots so much. Um, okay, so, I mean, this could be kind of cute. I love the little maze here, and there's like a playground for the kids. That's cute. That's cute. Let's let's look at let's look at the other lots first before I make a final decision. <laughs> so we have this one as well, which is also on the water. This is a lounge, but we can always demolish it <laughs> and build something else if we like the area. Okay. I mean, oh, so it's right next to the other beach one. This one is kind of cool because it's it's on the water, but the lot is like very large. So we'll have enough room. I still don't know if I want to have a large wedding or a small wedding either. I feel like we'll have more luck on the gallery with uh, bigger lots. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and let's see what we can find on the gallery, shall we? I'm going to search for... Um, <sighs> You. boho wedding venue i guess and see what pops up for like the the popular popular lot and then hit most popular here on the left <clears throat> okay let's see this one is the most popular by sj beans's that's cute but i don't know if it's the vibe that we're going for that's really cute granite falls interesting in the forest Hmm, that could be cute. Ooh, this one looks cute too. This one looks like it would fit well in in um, Tartosa. This is really pretty by Sims Tanny. 
Uh, Tartosa White Wedding. It looks a little bit boho to me, but also a little bit classic. We can always, um, like, add some things and take away some things. What's this one? Summer Lanterns? That's cute, too. Wow, it's all base game as well. Okay, let's go ahead and place this one. If you guys would like it, it's called Tartosa White Wedding by Sims Tanny. Uh, it's on a 30 by 20, so let's see where we get- Ooh, we could place it on the beach. Should we try that? I'm- I'm interested. I can't believe the last time we had a wedding was for Stella and Charlie. That was so long ago, but I remember exactly what they wore and when that vampire girl... Shoot, what was her name? I know it started with a B. She died. Um, people were peeing their pants. It was just a whole thing. It was a whole thing. Good times. Good times. My legacy used to be such a show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so here we are. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to replace it with move objects on because there's some things missing. And I think time of day I want to have it will be around this time. So there's a kitchen, chairs, um, this is really cute. I like this a lot. Is this a half-eaten cake? Oh, it's a display. Okay, cute, cute, cute. And this is where they will be getting married. I kind of want the arch to be over here with the water in the background you know what i mean i guess we could just like move some things around it's gonna be a pain in my butt though move the bathroom over there delete the shade move the wedding arch over to this side so that we will have the water in the back oh man if we put oh my god a bunch of fireflies behind the wedding arch and like have them get married when the sun goes down <gasps> How pretty would that be? Oh my god, I'm literally gonna put fireflies everywhere. And no one can stop me. <laughs> when everyone's gonna get attacked by bugs. Don't know if I'm like a huge fan of all these rugs being everywhere. Maybe we can use like a different rug. Oh yeah, and there's like a bride and groom table right here. Which is really cute. I like that. Also, we need to yeah, get rid of like these harsh lines here. It's more sandy than it is uh, grassy, you know? I know it's kind of weird like having plants growing out of sand, but... You know, we could even... We could even delete this kitchen and have... Because there's already food here. So we could have the bar area be over here and then delete all this kitchen stuff and put put the dance floor in here Ooh, that could be cute yeah and make like a cute little like platform over here maybe for the for the bar oh my god this stone from cottage living with the flowers oh so cute all right here's our bar area so far i think it would be adorable to have some string lights behind just add some columns to make it look like there's uh something holding it at least <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. Maybe the dance floor can be on a platform as well. I just felt like it was a little, um, flat. I don't know. I definitely think that we need a party bush just in case, you know, just in case. I don't know, guys. Is this picturesque enough? Is this good enough? With the fireflies, maybe it'll be really cute. Maybe I want to change the arch. Let me see what else we have. That one's cute. Yeah, how about these CC ones? Um, I don't know. Ooh, love that one. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh, that one's interesting. It's got candles on it. Okay, yeah, I definitely think I want to change the arch to maybe this one. I feel like this is really cute. Do we do both of these? Because this one has like cute lantern, a little cute lantern on it. Or even that one. Oh no, I don't know, guys. I don't know. This one is CC. I kind of like the combination of these two. I think that's the one. Also, why is there a dragon lamp right here? That does not suit the, uh, <laughs> the vibes. These lights don't really either. Um, let me see if there's a better light that we can have. I really do like these ones from, um, from, uh, what is this? Granite State? Granite Falls? Oh my god, what is the pack called? Outdoor Adventures. My mistake. Sorry. Jeez. Why is it so hard to remember pack names? <laughs> also, not certain about those benches. Uh... 
these are quite nice. What else do we have? Should we do like full blown couches? They have almost six million dollars. <laughs> uh, let me see if a couch would even look good out, out here. It has to be the perfect couch, you know what I mean? I'm not seeing a lot that I love, but I do like these benches more than the ones that are already there. So let's switch them. Oh my god, this awning is just getting in my way big time. So oh, I know what we can put in this little area over here. A little bonfire pit? I think that would be cute. What if I put a chicken coop so we had chickens running around? I really hope that since it's on the, a beach lot that the Sims aren't gonna um, get in their bathing suits. You know what I mean? All right. And then last but not least, I would like to have some kind of photo booth situation. So maybe we can like extend this platform, separate it somehow from the bar. Hmm, how would we do that? Let's use the camera and the um, the floor thingy from Mosquito. I think that's probably, cause I don't really want to use the photo booth. So where's that thing that goes on the ground? Where the Sims stand? Hello? Oh, it's, act it's in activities and skills, isn't it? There we go. Okay, little photo area, check. All right, I think I think that this is all, all that we need. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and pick out. Oh, I'm nervous. Pick out freaking Zoe's wedding outfit and Lamar's wedding. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna have to go and give everyone wedding outfits. I think depending depending on what their formula is right now. I think uh, the wedding venue is is cute. I don't think I would have been 100% satisfied with anything because this is a very important wedding to me. <laughs> So I don't know. It's kind of like it needs to be perfect, but I know that it won't be. And I just need to take it as it is. Alrighty, here we are back on the legacy lot. All right, let's have a look at the calendar and see what we got going on. So it looks like Wednesday, the weather is going to be sunny. Hmm, let's plan it for Wednesday then. So I'm gonna, okay. There's like an option. There's actually an option on the calendar to plan a wedding event, which is really cool. Add wedding event. Right. Okay, for some reason, my panels are broken. I don't even think I can open sim profiles right now. It's not really loading up. Okay, it's fine. We can always do that when um, I actually film the wedding. Let's go into cast. I'm not, I'm not really sure which mod causes that. I don't know if it's UI cheats or Wonderful Whims, but... I should probably update those mods before I film the actual wedding because, like I said, I want it to go really smoothly. Well, Alright, Zoe. Are you freaking ready? I don't think you are, but if I'm not ready, then you're definitely not, not ready. <laughs> okay, let's add another formal outfit. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna get rid of the formal tag just in case because I don't want to miss anything. I remember exactly what Stella wore. She had her hair up in like braids and she had a flower crown. I kind of feel like maybe Zoe would do the same thing, but I don't want it to be exact. That's so cute. I love like lace. Ooh. Oh, I love this dress. I feel like I use it too much though. I don't know. Ooh. That's really nice. What's this one? Oh, that's gorgeous too. That would be perfect for the bridesmaids, huh? Oh, I just realized I still have my 100 baby count up on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, just ignore that. Just ignore it. It's gone now. I think this is what uh, Stella wore, if I remember correctly. This would also be a really nice bridesmaids dress as well. Um, ooh, got that one too. I have this one. I found it. This is the one. It's perfect. It's flawless. Oh, guys, look at this one that came with uh, the wedding pack. <gasps> That's actually really cute. She what? looks so good. I know it's like kind of like weird to not wear white on your wedding day, but this like monochromatic vibes that she's got going on with this dress just make me really happy. Wow, look at this braid as well. You guys, how am I ever gonna decide? Oh! <laughs> Ooh, look at this. This is uh, just very simple, but classic and beautiful. Oh gosh, well, okay. You guys are gonna have to let me know. It's between this one and the big braid, so. So since we're not having the wedding till the next episode, 
if the majority of you guys want the braid, this one, I will, I will change it back before we start the wedding. I'll just keep her hair like this for now. Okay, now what do we have as far as accessories go? We've got headbands. Did the wedding pack come with any veils? Wow, look what they added from signs. That's incredible. Unless we've already had that. Why is there a star next to it? Okay, yeah, we have this like beaded headband, which is really cute actually. I like that. I have this veil from Anto. I have these really cute gold like leaf things. Doesn't really work that well, but it's still really cute. It looks like I don't have that many uh, hair accessories, which is kind of unfortunate. I thought that I did. Oh, she can't really wear a necklace. Or, yeah, she can't really wear a necklace with this dress. So we're going to have to give her some real bling and earrings, I think. I think I like these from Jolly Bean the best. And then I don't mind the shoes that she's wearing, actually, but... I do want to change- yeah, those match perfectly, actually. Oh, so cute. So, so, so cute. Nails, definitely. Um, just some classic white ones. Should we do French tippies? Or some nude? Where's my glitter eyeshadow? Should we do that one? Or I think this one's my favorite, actually. Just a little bit of shimmer, you know? Nothing too crazy. Okay, so here is Zoe's look. Please let me know if we should do this hair or... Da -da 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 -da. Stop moving! Or this one. Let me know. All right, let's move on to Senor Lamar. Let's have a look and see what your current formal wear is. You know, guys are so much easier to do. I'm feeling thankful for that on this day. So I think the vibes is like neutral brown. There is this one from City Living. And then we have this one from Season. We've got a couple new suits from the Tartosa pack. This one's quite nice. I really like the um, blue tie. This one's cool too. This one is nice as well. Let's see. Let me look at Zoe's outfit again. Yeah, it's um, it's very like brownie. I know you're an elder. I know, I know, I know. You don't have to remind me every two seconds. This is definitely my favorite suit. I feel like I use it for pretty much every wedding. So I think we're gonna do that one. All right, Lamar, looking good, looking good. I love this suit on you. Evangeline, my sweet darling. What is your formal right now? Okay, we didn't give you one. What shall we do? What shall, ooh, this is cute. I very much like this, ugh. I usually always go for this one for my children's sims but we have a couple more options this time. This one with a little bow. <gasps> There's a brown sequin swatch. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh shoot. I think we're gonna have to do that. That's super adorable. Gonna go for these little shoes and yeah, I don't know what else. We could put her hair in buns. <laughs> She's so adorable. My mom used to do this to my hair when I was little. All right, Edison, my sir. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't give you a formal wear either. What? I'm slipping. Aww, adorable, 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 adorable. Looking sharp, sir. All righty, Ren. What do you want to wear? Ah, <laughs> oh, she is the the maid of honor. Very, very stressful for you, huh? You don't want to outshine the bride of course that's gonna be kind of hard because it's you i think that this is a good bridesmaids dress and maybe we should go with like this green color or is this beige it matches it matches zoe's dress so let's do that give you some nails some nude ones i love 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 this song from the werewolves pack they really popped off with this one. Maybe we should keep this one that she already had. This is her everyday hair, but like she could have like added extensions for this day. Perfect, Ren. You look great. You look fantastic, actually. Okay. Um. 
yeah guys that is it for the main fam let's go over to uh let's go to luna's house first and make sure everyone's outfits are are good over there i don't know zoe and lamar probably like put on their invitation like please follow this color palette like brownie neutrals and like pastels and anyone can wear whatever they wanted as long as it followed that dress code oh my gosh you guys it looks like a couple of luna's kids aged up into aged up into teenagers <gasps> how exciting Ugh, i wish i had time to do an extensive makeover for them but i don't i only have time to give them outfits right now all right leland hello sir how's it going you oh my god you are so cute just gonna give him something really fast because i don't know oh my foot my foot problem went away oh thank goodness okay let's give you a formal outfit really quick um yeah oh my god you guys he's so cute i'm happy okay so you just need like a brown tux as well i guess i mean do you even need to wear a suit you could always wear something kind of like a suit but less formal like that could be cute it matches the venue yeah the oh oh his traits as well he's lazy and a muser and he got the jungle explorer aspiration muser musers get boost to their skills when they're inspired better boost okay okay cool 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 all right uh let's move on to miss crystal holy cannoli they're all so beautiful wow she got the bellamy mouth let's go we love the bellamy mouth <laughs> I'm pretty sure crystal had black hair right oh my god i don't remember i have to look on plum tree if you guys don't know what a plum tree app is it's basically a family tree maker um and i use it for my legacy challenge i will link it for you in the description if you want to check it out but everyone is on there with their photos and stuff uh ooh, blonde actually okay wow i really don't remember that at all no she is so tiny like super super skinny all right let's find you a nice formal outfit then oh let's do full body i'm gonna do this one for her if you guys don't have shoes from this creator zeus i don't really know how to pronounce it but oh my god they make the best shoes ever 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 okay and her traits are savant and animal enthusiast and she got the outdoor enthusiast aspiration so she really likes the outdoors and really likes animals really cute uh, Wilson has not aged up yet, but let me go ahead and look at your formal wear, sir. Okay, so we just need to change the color and we'll be good. Yeah, let's do this pink. Change the bottoms to... yeah, that works. Ah, what a little cute sir. Ah, it was cute. All right, and then Giovanna. Oh, Giovanna's an elder now. Ah. <gasps> gasp i actually like this dress on you so let's just change the color and then blakely hello hello small child all of all of luna's kids are like dark skinned and blonde that's how they all come out i guess it makes sense though because uh luna is naturally blonde and giovanna is also blonde so i guess all right here is blakely's little outfit for the wedding and last but not least Luna! Luna, 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 Luna. What do you got? This one and this one? Hmm. Let's change this one. Oh yeah, she needs to wear the same dress that Ren is wearing. I don't think the maid of honor wears a different style dress than the rest of the crew, right? Okay, perfect. She looks amazing. Oh, let's give her, give her nails as well. Um, you can have black ones, uh, or, yeah, let's do black. Okay, all done. All done with this fam. Everyone's growing up and aging up and they're gonna die and I'm not, uh, um, I don't want to. Okay, and last but not least, we've got this household. Gosh, our family is so huge. We have Bruce as well, but I think his formal wear will be fine. And then... Alice and Kieran. Yeah, they should be okay. They should be okay. I'm just doing like main fam right now. All right, Marnie, let's see what you have for your formal wear. Uh, black. Okay, I'm gonna change that to 
Let's do this one. That's kind of pastel-y and kind of cool. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> And then Elizabeth, my little darling. Let's change the color of that to match with the vibes. Or actually, let's put you in this one. That's adorable. Okay, and then Rotheo, uh, what is yours? Okay, that's cute. We just need to change the color. Oh, or we could do this one. Oh, that's really adorable. Actually, we got to do that. And then change the shoe color. Okay, super cute. Actually, let's give you a different hairstyle as well. Ugh, you're gorgeous. What the heck? It's been a while since I've seen you. Okay, let's do this one and then give you some earrings because I feel like there's something missing. Yeah, let's just do those. Aw, so cute. Okay, Bellamy, our soon-to-be father. Uh, he loves the outdoors. He's clumsy and a creative visionary. Okay, so for you, I'm thinking that's nice. Perfect. Bailey, <laughs> all this nonsense you have on your swimwear outfit. Oh my gosh. You know who he kind of looks like, guys? He looks like Steve from Stranger Things. I'm just not realizing that. Is that just me that thinks so? Let me know in the comments. Looking sharp, my dude. Looking real sharp. Let me give you your earrings back. All right. And last but not least, we have Ophelia. Oh, this is cute. And it matches the vibes of the wedding. I think I don't even think we need to change it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I wish there was more updos that had bangs. Yeah, let's do that. And let's give her like a nice necklace. Okay, pretty. Ooh, so pretty. Love her, love her, love her. She's a geek. She loves the outdoors. And she's a foodie as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, that's everyone. We are done with outfits. That took a lot less time than I thought it would. And I think that's the last thing that I wanna do for this for this wedding prep. In the next one, we're going to plan the actual event. And then I think we still need to pick a cake. Um, at least I know like what color scheme we're going for now. Like this like neutral-y pastel kind of vibe. And yeah that's it super excited i hope you guys are too i know a lot of you guys were looking forward to watching the wedding this week um but i will probably end up filming this the wedding uh episode very very soon so don't worry it'll be out sooner than you think <laughs> i love you guys so much thank you for watching this video and if you would like follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok and i will see you in the next one i love you so much bye